Huh? Well, yeah. I'm not really sure how to do the intros and things like that yet. It'll be more professional later down the road. Uh, okay. Going to post it in mine and see what happens. Now, do you have like a little tab saying how many people are reading or is watching this? Uh, well, I see me. I'm watching it right now on Facebook. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. So. Now, do you have like a little tab saying how many people are reading or is watching this? I hear myself. Uh, well, I see me. I'm watching it right now on Facebook. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Hold yeah. on. So. Now, do you have like a little tab saying how many? Okay. So yeah, it did say one. It said one views. Uh, and it still says the Q and A is disabled though, even with one viewer, which is me. We're popular right now, man. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'd really like that to work. How many people are actually gonna watch this? <laughs> you, never, you never know. Are you gonna post it on yours? I'll post it after. Okay. Facebook's super slow, so even if you post it on Facebook, like they probably won't see it until like like 15 minutes later. Yeah, and there's no, not a lot of point to doing it live if the Q&A thing isn't working as well. But I think the only reason we're doing it live is so you can like repost it, correct? No, I wanted to do it live live. Like I wanted to have people to be involved. Like if you have a fan base already, like you, all, I think you do. I think you have a lot more likes. Well, you have way more likes than I do. Um, I have 30. How many do you have? Like 15,000. Yeah, you're beating me. Yeah, but I don't, I don't even know how those, any of those people. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't want to know any. Well, I mean, it's not that I don't want to know any of mine, but like the majority of my likes are all. My people are there because I post like really stupid memes. I don't think they're there for me. Nah, I'm, I'm sure they're there for your support, 100%. They probably don't even know. It's like, this guy works for a radio station. <laughs> So I wonder if this did it say anything about being able to say I really hope that I can save this after the fact uh, Well, what about the test one did that save anywhere? Because no. that's why I thought the live thing saved it. I don't I, I deleted it. So I think it did though Okay, I think uh, All right. I don't want to restart this Just to see because this, this is gold what we got right going on right now I know. I <laughs> Um I think it's going to save. Okay. It's got to save. So let's get started. All right. How you doing? I'm well, thank you. Right on. I'm in my I, kitchen. I ha I was actually a lot more comfortable with just talking, and now and all of a sudden now I'm just like, okay, let's go. Question number one. So no, this, just to, just so you know a little bit of background. Um, the the whole point of this is just to. I, I, I find myself often just wanting to do like interviews and conversations with different people I see and what I, I meet. And yeah. I, I, I often, when I'm just walking and I see like a huge house, for example, when I'm just walking down the road and I see this guy come out of it, I kind of just want to be like, hey man, what do you do? <laughs> How did you get here? It would be interesting to learn about his story. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. That so I, I was just thinking who could I start start out with? There's a few people I had in mind, um, and then uh, you are one of them. So yeah, uh, so I, I appreciate you taking the time to connect. No worries, man. Uh, so I mean, why don't we? I mean, as far as like uh, history goes, you're a DJ for Hot, fill in the blanks. One hundred seven Edmonton. One hundred seven Edmonton. Yeah. Okay, so is that that? is only listened to in Edmonton. Yeah. Are you in Edmonton? Yes, I am. I didn't know that. I thought you were still you No, really? No. I, I saw, I saw. remember I, uh, I tuned into one of your live videos where you're on a ski lift with, I think, your mom for maybe, it was, yeah. was it Mother's Day? Was you just visiting then? No, that was, uh, so we were, uh, my mom came down to visit because I live in Alberta now. 
and my mom came down to visit. We went to Banff, and so that was in the Lake Louise ski lift. And as we went up the ski lift, it's like, oh man, let's let's Facebook list live thing because that's that's what's popular right now. So I gave that a go, and yeah, that's hoping we would hopefully we would see a bear from the ski lift, but no, it didn't happen. I think I remember you talking about that. Yeah. Um, while you're talking here, I'm just I have this option on the left. Just so I mean, if anybody right now, uh, we have no viewers live, but if anybody is ever going to watch this, this is my first uh, kind of podcast. I guess what you, uh, the idea is is to get a whole bunch of these conversations with a multiple like a variety of different people. Um, yeah. Right now, I'm just trying to figure this out and this broadcast settings. Originally, when we had connected, uh, you know, five ten minutes ago. I remember how I had told you the camera when you spoke, it automatically panned onto you. Yes. And now it's it's on to me. So now it's not doing that. It's not doing it automatically. So as guests join, hide their audio and video from the broadcast. No, broadcast the large video. I just see no. Okay, so I don't know how it was doing that. Showcase. Are you still there? I'm still here. Yeah. Okay, uh, test, no, cancel that, hmm, control room, okay. I think it would be in control room, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's what I would have figured. Too. Oh, hey, I don't know, I don't, is that what I just hit? I just hit control room, now you talk. Hello. There you go, all right. All right. Yeah. So all I do is hit the control room button and it does uh, the setting. My neighbor is walking by right now, so I don't know if that. I always have to give him the wave. Um, so I don't know when my roommate's coming home, so there might be someone who I'm not, I'm not run like walks into the door. So more the merrier. I have to get. I this we have to. I, I don't. I don't want to have these conversations very short. I'd actually like them to be longer than normal because I kind of just want to. There's no. There's no. It's completely. Uh, I, I, I mentioned this to you earlier on. It's completely uncensored. There's no direction. I don't have a list of questions. Just a conversation between two guys that haven't actually talked to each other for a long time. Uh, yeah. I mean, as far as you and I, we used to work together at StarTech.com, uh, and I was in sales, and you were working in the warehouse. So we had a lot of fun times there. When did, so when did you leave there? Um, because I got because I I was also like working. I think I left there when I started working full time at Virgin. So I think I, I officially like quit probably at the end of that summer because it was just too much because I would like do a shift at StarTech, then do like the weekend show at Virgin and then possibly do a street team gig after work. So as soon as like school started again, that's kind of when, you know, the, the warehouse hours started winded down as well. And and then I had the job at the radio station. So that's when I kind of quit my second year of school. So and you went right into the radio broadcasting for, right from StarTech? Well, I, I got the job at StarTech because I was in computer programming, and I was like, okay, that's not really for me. And then I did a year of general art and science, and then I did the radio broadcasting, did a year of that, and then going into my second year, that's kind of when I quit StarTech. Yeah, I, I wasn't a fan. I did computer programming way back in the day as well. Uh, my whole idea to get into it was to just make a game. I was a huge Unreal yeah. guy in Quake. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the the first class I sat down and I, I, I was just like, no, this can't be right. Like maybe 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 this guy just is here to, to you know how they always say like weed out the week kind of thing yeah. from the very beginning. He didn't have to make us study very hard. Once he told me like there's a lot of like I had to type like a paragraph just to do one action. I was like, mm, no. Okay. How long did you last in that CPA? I did I did a year. So a year you lasted way longer than me, man. I, I think I was in there for like three months. I was out. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was always playing Unreal during class. We always installed it to the temporary internet files cache. And so we would be playing during class uh, the Unreal demo. Oh, it's good times. So you worked for Version for how long then? I was there for about two years. And then uh, I was offered a job in Grand Prairie and Grand Prairie, Alberta. It's uh, about six hours north of Edmonton. Okay. And so I, I 
was like, yeah, I packed up my bags. It was kind of like last minute. It's like, yeah, it's like two weeks. I'm moving halfway across the country. Wow. That's yeah. A, okay. So he did it. And I did it. And while I was in Grand Prairie, it just so happened the Verge Radio in Edmonton, uh, the evening guy just quit. So he was like shopping around. He was calling all the Verge Radios in Canada and he ended up talking to London. It's like, hey, do you got any talent we can pull? And because uh, at that time, because the Virgin here in Canada is owned by Bell, so not the UK. Okay. So, uh, so we called because at the time Bell was at a in a hiring freeze because we're still still sort of in a recession here in Canada. Bunch of complications. Yeah, uh, and so so he was trying to pull talent. Is like no, but we just lost a guy to Grand Prairie. You know, you know it might be. So you got anyway. So London gave me gave him my contact info and was chatting with him. So I was only there for about like three months and then I moved to Edmonton. And you like it now? Wait, wait you, how did you go from uh, version to hot? So the boss that hired me at, at Edmonton, he's, he's, he literally like he trained me and everything. I know how, you know, he wants a show done. And I'm also the music director for hot Edmonton. So he trained me how to do music. And so, he moved, he actually quit and moved to Hot. And about, you know, a couple months later, there was a job opening. So I tossed in an application. It's like, hey, I enjoyed working with you in the past. And I know how you want everything done. So that's how I moved to radio stations. And, and so, you know, got, and you've been there for money in a better time slot. So Let's say that again. They offered me more money, more money in a better time slot. So. Yeah. Why would I not? Why would I say no? <laughs> yeah, better time slots. Key. So just out of curiosity, do you think you would have went if it was less money, better time slot? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I I enjoy like it's it, you always, especially in radio, try to find a good boss to work for. I so I you know I I enjoy working for him, and you know I've learned a lot, and I can still learn a lot from the man. So that's good. What are you? How old are you now? I'm twenty five. Twenty five. Jesus, I'm. You know you're getting too old, and you, you have to think. <laughs> I'm 35. I'll be 36 this year. Yeah, in October. Yeah, I just um, turned. I just turned like a month ago. Okay. Yeah. Did you know? I think I told you about this. That the Virgin Radio. You guys have to. I, I, this is my dream. If your head guys or the Virgin here listens to this and they stop doing what I'm about to explain. I think I told you about this. They, they play a song, and it's usually one of the top 20, 25 maybe here. Yep. In Norway, yep. Just so everybody knows I'm in Norway. Um, and they play the song, and then they stop playing the song about 25 seconds, 30 seconds into What? Yeah. And then, what? And then they go to advertisements. I don't know what they're doing. And it's not every time. It's not all the time. But it's probably once every maybe half an hour, maybe more, maybe less. I'm just pulling that out of my ass, actually. But it happens, it happens frequently. Do they play the song after the commercials? Like, is it just to say, hey, you know, this is the song coming up? No. No, it's oh. nothing like that. No. Uh, you know what? You know what, Kevin? I don't know. Because some they speak in no no i was going to say they, they it's norwegian here so i don't get all of it but no it's a it's a um i have to think it's been a while since uh, i have to complete my sentences now i have to think end sentence uh i i don't think that's what they're doing they just stop and the, what okay what i'm trying to remember right now is if they talk in Norwegian. Oh, but <laughs> but the ver and then I wouldn't know. Maybe they do, right? But I don't okay. think I I I'll have to come back to you on that. I'm I'm like ninety percent because I wouldn't be complaining about it. Yeah. Because if they did do that, I listen to the station, then I would listen to the song. The song would come on within ne within a maximum five minutes, probably. Yep. And no, it, it doesn't. It just goes away. And so it'd be like a good jam, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get into it because it's a good 20 seconds, 25 seconds into it, half a minute. And then all of a sudden they, they, they stop and they just talk about shit. They don't, they're definitely not talking about the song because they don't mention the song. You know how they would usually probably mention the artist's name, right? Hmm. They just go off. And, and, yeah, it's, I might have to look into this. Okay. You, you definitely do. You have to, you have to uh, flex your muscle over in Europe. 
tell him to stop being silly. Um, here, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna copy this link. I'm gonna post it and just see if we can get some random viewers, just to see okay. if that Q and A pops up. I'm gonna post it in my group. It's like a little weird thing that going on. What the? Oh, that's you. Okay. No, it's like this weird, like glitchy thing in the corner. So hey, what what kind of news? I kind I always kind of wonder about this these things. The news um, back in Canada. Did you guys? Did you hear? I'm I'm guessing that you heard about the recent events in Nice, in France. Yeah, we heard about them. Um, they especially this is like how big Canada is. So in like in Alberta, it kind of got swept away because there's like a there's an Amber Alert. They were looking for like a five year old girl. Okay. So that that kind of you know local took priority over international story. So Did they find her. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, not alive. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. So that was that was that's been making headlines here versus what's going on worldwide. Yeah, of course. That would that would definitely change that would dampen the subject even right now as we talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh so yeah, that obviously got sidetracked. So it was almost like that just overwhelmed everything. The media there is that, are they still talking about that there then? Um I think they found her on Thursday, so uh five yeah, even even Friday show wasn't because they found her on Thursday. So even even Friday when I did the show on Friday, you know, you can I don't know, I, especially uh, you can feel the audience being like, you know, down at the dumps. You're not getting as much interactivity as, as you usually do. Like usually I'm always on the phone talking with people. It's like, hey, what song you want to hear? Um, no, it was a pretty quiet day. So yeah, not a lot of people called in that day or a few, but yeah, you can tell it was a little more somber. Yeah, you could just you could just feel it. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, I, I it was I actually it was kind of similar with I don't know if you remember um, Tori uh, from London. She went missing, and she was around the same age, five to seven years old. Uh, I want to say her last name was Spelling, but I know that's not. Oh, was it like Tori Stafford or something like that? Or? Yeah, yeah, Terry wow. Stafford, wasn't it? Or is it? Tori sounds familiar. It sounds so. Tori Stafford. I think I'm pretty sure that was the little girl that went missing. And there's two punks that got her going leaving the school. I don't know what makes people become monsters like that, especially when they're so vulnerable. When I don't, I, I, you know, I have a son now, right? Yeah, yeah. So it makes me think more about it. Like if that ever happened, like I. It's it's weird, like they have topics like talk talking about that, and then you think like, what do you think would happen or should happen to individuals like that get caught like that? And I used to be kind of not empathetic, like oh let them go or whatever, they're sick. But I, I did have more empathy, thinking like, okay, well they obviously had screwed up lives, and you know just normal people don't do that. Maybe they were you know just like all the crazy people. They're probably beaten when they're young. There's always a story. There's always two sides. Not justifying it, but feeling sorry for this other person that did the the, the terror, the, the shit. Something must have happened to them to drive them to do this. But now when I think about it, it's like if anyone did that to my son, it's gone. There's no empathy at all. It's, I, like I, I just w don't want to describe what I would want to do that individual. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You have any kids coming up on that subject there, Kevin? Oh, God. <laughs> What's going on in your life? And in, 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 there's a lot of flip flop conversation topics, eh? Yeah, <laughs> it's unscripted. I hate. I, I I just don't like. I just don't. If, if I'm going to do this, I just don't want to have like. I don't want to be that guy doing this, like having my my piece of paper here, like my paper towel paper. Like yeah, parts on it. Okay, ask him this. Okay, break to the. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't want to do that. So well, I find when I when I do interviews, like it's it's it's. There's preparation because you don't want to like because it, it's it's awesome because we know like we, we sort of know each other versus yeah. you know like when it's some complete stranger like you don't want an interview with like this this is going so um 
Game last night. You don't want that, so you want to be prepared. Yeah, no, no. And, and usually, I I have this list, so I have an idea where I'm going, and then it's awesome because you know they might have a question that I would totally on on like not expect, and then I'd go into a different question which is unscripted. So it's kind of so you go off the wall. It's not like you just yeah. go point by point by point though. Yeah. You just you rely on the questions just in case it's like I. You got your haircut recently? <laughs> yeah. Like a kind of deal. Like, I get it. I, I should probably I should probably do that. Maybe if I'm if I have conversations with individuals I don't know that well, but I don't know. I, I'll, I'll see how it goes. I'm not whatever. But I understand where you're coming from, especially if you're doing it in a, a professional manner too for a, for a business, right? Who's your most famous person that you've had an interview with? Um, I feel like Carly Rae Jepsen. I don't even know who that is. I recognize the name. Really? Call me maybe, girl. Oh no! Oh, gives hey, me shivers. Uh, you. <laughs> oh god, damn! All right. Um, so you met her? No, I interviewed her. Oh, you interviewed her, but you met her, or what? Is a phone interview or what? No, I like I went like she had a concert here, so I went in and actually talked to her. Okay. Um, I met Justin Bieber in high school. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I went to high school in Stratford. So you're originally from Stratford. No, I'm from St. Mary's, which is in between Stratford and London. I don't know St. Mary's. Yeah, small little town, just in between like Stratford and London. You know Bright's Grove? Where? Bright's Grove. No. No. Okay, that's where I'm from. That's my original little city. Um, so you met Carly Ray Jefferson? Jepson. Jefferson. <laughs> so, and how how was it? How what was your first interview, by the way? Uh, I think my first interview, with, like an actual band, was the group Magic, and uh, they they you know that song Rude. About two years ago, I was like, "Why you gotta be so rude?" Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. So they that was that was their like that's probably yeah their biggest song and uh, they so that was my first interview and. It was all right. Are they still around? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You still can. When you interview people, do you ever like afterwards just say like, do you want to go get a get a beer or anything like that? Uh so there's a ca Canadian artist named Coleman Health, and after the interview, we went and uh, got blizzards, Stop. like Dairy Queen blizzards. And you you went where? We went to get we went to Dairy Queen and got blizzards. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he, okay, so that's, all right, so it doesn't happen very often, though. It's not like you get, uh, I'm sorry, her name escapes me again, Carly Jefferson? Jefferson. Jefferson. Carly Jefferson. I hope no, she No, you don't, you don't, especially when they're, when they do interviews, they kind of book, especially Edmonton having, like, a ton of radio stations in the city, they book us all at once, so she does one after the other, after the other, after the other, and then next thing you know, it's probably like showtime or she wants to rest or something. So yeah. it's kind of like a task. And so. No, it definitely would be, actually. I never even thought of that. So that's, it. That's, just, that's the cool thing about talking to you and learning about that because you know, I'm sure these people have crazy schedules, and it kind of gives you a little bit of insight to those well-known people, like you said, Justin Bieber, where that kid probably has an all-day plan, just boom, 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 boom. Oh, he didn't even talk to radio stations. He, he was like, he's, he's too big. He doesn't need to. Okay. You did back in the day, though, didn't he, or no? Probably back in the day, he did, yeah. Okay. Uh, he probably only like talk to the big ones, like probably in L.A. or New York. Now, you mean, or back then? Yeah. Now, okay. But you talked to Virgin, maybe, no? Virgin's gigantic. No. Or maybe the one that's running. <laughs> Take it. Oh, wait, you don't work for them anymore. Hot, hot 107. Yeah. No, but like the one in Toronto, he would. The one in Edmonton, probably not. Okay. Okay. Huh. Yeah. But uh, you're probably just going to talk to the big cities where that interview is probably going to get syndicated or something. Okay. Where he can only do it, he only has to do it once, and then that's it. Yeah. Have you ever had an interview with. An individual where they didn't like your questions, uh, or your, you know, you how you said you kind of go in a certain direction, and they could feel it. And you probably felt them feeling it, and you both kind of. Yeah. Um. 
there was an artist named Halsey. She uh, did a song called New Americana. And uh, I was I, I, like, I did research into her. And so I, I looked at her like some like, like so how she, one of the ways she got famous was she did all these covers. So um, I, I brought up, it's like, hey, I just brought up the question about covers or something. And uh, as soon as I asked that question, the record rep right behind him was like, no, no. He was like, move on. I was like, okay. And so that that you know, all almost all our all of our interviews are pre-recorded, so I just cut that from it. So yeah, yeah. So it it didn't seem like that. Like it didn't see. I guess I guess they want to concentrate on her making new music. So from a marketing standpoint, no, that's kind of. Uh, so you never do live recordings or live recording interviews? No, just everything. Everything's super tight, quick. Make like, sure. You, make sure you, you don't want to be like, especially. Edmonton, like we're like it's it's a competitive market mm -hmm. where you know every every minute on air counts. That's a rating. Like we're actually rated per minute, so oh, yeah. like we can tell like how many people were listening at this minute of the day, this minute of the day. And so when when you know you're down to the per minute, you want to make sure every minute is is good content. Wow. What do you do? Like if you're on the ball and you have that type of stats to look at and then all of a sudden you see a drop for like, say, five minutes, you must see that. Yep. Well, my boss would. I don't see it on a regular basis. What does he do? Like come in and say, wake up or talk about something interesting? <laughs> oh, he doesn't see it live. He, we see it like uh, like like when ratings come out. He okay, it's pre-recorded. Right, yeah, it's all pre-recorded. So okay. Hmm. He's like, why did you drop the ball? Oh, you didn't actually play the song. You just left the studio and it was dead air. How often does it? How how often? That's a joke. Hmm. That was a joke. I know. That doesn't. <laughs> no, no, you don't think explain that one. But uh, how often do you think the ratings? Okay, so how, explain what a drop in ratings would look like. Um. Well, like everything's. So it's kind of like in shares. So out of all the people listening to the radio right now, it actually gives you a percentage. So right now, uh, out of all the people listening to the radio, about 10% of them are listening to you or something like that. Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. Huh. Yeah. AM, FM, all of it? Yeah, uh, AM, AM and FM, yeah. It obviously doesn't pick up satellite. No, no, it's, it's, it's all local. Yeah, so it wouldn't even make sense. I don't know why I asked a stupid question like that. Okay. Uh, so it counts as AM, FM. So everybody has their radio on, and then of that, who's listening to you? Yeah. Huh. So it's only local. It's only local, yeah. It only could be. Uh, and then and it's only pre-recorded, so you can only deal with those types of issues afterwards, right? Yeah, but you know, you just people like like as a top forty station, we know what people people come to us to play to hear the hits. So we're you know make sure they're not here to me like to hear me, you know, talk about. I don't know. Like right now, I'm obsessed with Pokemon Go. I'll be like, hey guys, so this is a really cool spot to play to find like a Pikachu if you want. All right. Like they're not here to hear that. They just want to hear the music. So make sure you give them what they want. Let's dive into that, Kevin. That's a great segue into this new glorious app that's been launched. It's only recently launched in Europe. I don't know if you know about this. But... Not, not even launched in Canada yet. Oh, it's not? No, I had to create a US iTunes account and go download it. Oh, how dare them. Oh, how do you feel about that? I got it anyway, so I don't care. Yeah, so just to share with anybody that's watching this is that uh, when I asked Kevin to do to do this, uh, he said that he's far away basically because he's chasing Pokemon. Well, you got to walk in the game. How many Pokemon have you caught so far, Kev? Uh, well, I sold them back, so I don't know. I don't know how many total I caught. Yeah, you got to sell them back to get like extra candies. <laughs> See, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I'm being a little hypocritical here. I have the app, but currently in my poke, currently I have right now 
162 Pokemon in my inventory. 162? I don't even know how to check that. I just use it when I'm going in between public transportations, like the bus and the train. And I just, when I'm walking in between the stops, I just look at it. Oh, there's one. And I'll, I might keep walking and see if I, you know, if you, if you are on a bus and you go too far, it says you're too far for this to, to yeah, yeah. right. So I, I don't like stopping to do it, but I, I, that's the only times I do it. I don't go for walks. I don't go for Pokemon walks. Is this, was this your first, was this your first uh, adventure? No, I do this a lot. <laughs> your ratings, your ratings are going down, friend. <laughs> Just joking. So you do this, and you have these hot spots for Pokemon Go. Oh yeah, you figure out like you talk to people. Like I've I've met so many people who are like into this game. You talk to people, it's like, oh man, you got to check out this location of the city. You got to check out this location of the city. Just strangers, just going. Yeah. yeah. Just bump into each other while you're on your phone, just like, hey. Yeah. Do you see the same Pokemon, by the way? Like, yeah, if I if I see a Pokemon, the guy next to me is going to see the same one. Shut up, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. I think the next step for that is so they can see you as well. Yeah, that would be, well, that would be a lot of people, though. Because I've seen a lot of people, like, in a concentrated area. But yeah. it would be really cool if they could do it. I agree with you. Yeah, it would it would I don't think phones can even handle that now that you mentioned. Well, maybe maybe I don't know. But um it's I'm I'm get I'm already getting kind of tired of seeing. Like this dude that was uh, riding his bike was going and I'm seeing I'm seeing him coming towards me and he's riding with one hand looking at his iPhone and then he stops. And I'm like and then so then I, so I wasn't really concerned about him hitting me, but I knew exactly what he was doing. But I had to like just double check and like look at his phone. Then I feel like I'm the creepy one checking out what he's doing on his phone while I'm walking by. But uh, well, I felt really creepy when I first got it because the catch a Pokemon it uses like the camera. It what? It, don't you flick your finger? Yeah, you remember it, like, it uses the camera. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was really creepy because I'd be like like. Out, out in public, oh. like, people might think they're taking branded pictures of them. I was like, no. So I fi finally figured out how to turn that off. <laughs> I never even thought of that. Like some guy's taking a picture of me. And like, yeah, I never even thought of that because yes. yeah, when I use it, I'm not really around people. Uh, that's funny. So you're like, if yeah, I'm glad because if I was doing it on the bus, I would have that big problem because I'd be like. <laughs> That's yeah. So you've caught a hundred and well, my Pokedex says I have caught like I've caught fifty four unique Pokemon. Unique. I'll check how many I've caught. Okay, so you got to click on the Pokedex. Pokedex. All right, one sec here. It's on my. Is it on your home? Is it on your first page? Oh, I downloaded Pokey Radar. It's Pokey Radar. It's supposed to tell you where the Pokemon are. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. I haven't used it yet. I just got it today because I saw that po because what had happened is I was speaking with uh, a, a buddy. Let's. I, I don't mean I'm not being racist here, but my Asian buddy who's into games at work, and he's like, let's. Te and he's actually he's actually Australian. Uh, okay. And he's like, let's just team up, mate, and get all get all the Pokemon. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, let's do it. So yep. he's from Australia, so we had to use, he had to log into my phone to download it. And then actually, just a couple days ago, I, this is where I was pissed because an update came out for it, and mm -hmm. I couldn't get the update because I needed him to log in because he uh -huh. downloaded it. Yeah. So I was really kind of annoyed on that, but then all of a sudden I saw like, oh, it's available now in Norway. So I deleted it and got it. Um, access my location while I use the app. Yeah, I should be doing that. Oh, I have to reset this up. Oh, it's oh, I've lost all my Pokemon. I think. No, you gotta log in. If you log in, like, cause it's it uses a Gmail too. I love how you know this already. All right. Yep. Apparently, the app crashed on me. So. The app that's the problem. That's why it's probably not. They said it's not released in Canada. That's why they didn't release it all at once. Just because. The demand for it has been so high. Yeah, the demand's been insane. Like what you said, like people are just, well, I'm one of them that just uh, sign up with, okay, so I should be, 
I thought I used my Facebook. Is that possible? No. Maybe in Norway, not here. No, it would have been with the Australian one, right? Yeah. It's right now it says the servers are down for me. For you? Yeah. What, what do you connect to then, I wonder? Because it's not in Canada, right? Are you connecting to a US? Yeah, it'd be, well, yeah, I guess so. That's what I asked for my password to, right? Oh, doesn't reckon, oh, that's because the at sign is a dot. All right. Do you ever keep in that, uh, keep in touch with anyone from StarTech? Um, I tweeted at Derek a few days ago. Yeah, and how's he doing? I'm not sure, but because I remember working in the warehouse, or one of our customers was called uh, Memory Express, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a ton of them out here out west. So I remember I bumped into like a like it was a like a, re a, a retail store called Memory Express. It was like, oh my god, Eric, it's a real place. <laughs> Yeah, how long how long were you at Star Trek for then? I want to say like three years. Three years, okay. Yeah. How's your yeah, I'm on right now? now. So it's experiencing issues. Oh, tough life. Oh, dude, our servers are humbled by your incredible response. We are working to resolve the issue. Wow, oh. your humble oh. response. Mine just says ours are experiencing issues. Pokemon Go is down globally. Wow, I can't believe yours is nicer than mine. I can't believe that either. I'm in North. That's hilarious. Yeah. But you're you're from the you're you have the states. Yeah. If it was Canadian, if it was actually available, like, it, we're sorry. <laughs> it would definitely say that. It would definitely say like we're we sincerely apologize for this inconvenience. We'll make it up to you by giving you five dollars credit. <laughs> something, something like that. Oh, here one sec here. I got a oh my Buddy, oh, I wonder. I hope. All right. I'm broadcasting this. I just went to my Facebook. I wonder if this will pick that up. I'm not going to do it again, just in case it does. But uh, yeah, I'm curious what that message was. It was about my uh, my buddy getting uh, clothes for the wedding. I got a wedding coming up. Did I tell you that? For you? Yeah. You you like you? Yeah. Tina? Yeah, me and her. Oh, wow. congrats. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'll give a clap to that. Yeah, we get married on August the 6th in uh, in Spain. Ooh, Spain. It's going to be hot as fuck, man. It's going to be really hot. We're thinking like 35 degrees probably. Uh, we're getting married in Malaga, and then we have a, the reception is in this little town called, I, I want to call it La Duquesa, but it's also like, it's got so many different names. It's like Costa de Sol. It's also got like Manilva. It's near Estepona. Do you know any of these names? It's, uh, how about Tarifa or Gibraltar? Do you know those? I've never been to Europe, so. All right. That, well, uh, Tarifa or Gibraltar is the most southern tip of Spain. Okay. Um, and then Gibraltar is like, Gibraltar is a British colony. That, okay. uh, like an off island that's only like 50 meters off of Tarifa. Okay. Um, and they're somehow connected as well. Anyways, um, it's an hour where we're getting married, uh, or the reception is an hour north of the southern tip of Spain. Okay. And then where we're getting married is an hour further north in a larger city called Malaga. Okay. Yeah. Which is eight hours south of Barcelona, I think. So yeah, Spain is gigantic. Um, yeah, it's 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 really big. Not com not in comparison to Canada or the United yeah. States, I suppose. Thinking of it, I was thinking about this today. I was thinking, you know how a lot of people compare like the states and Canada, and, and they can they they talk about like gun control and drugs and things like this. And a lot of times when they get into these debates, they say, well, you can't, well, a lot of people's arguments say, well, you know, people in Norway, we're not allowed to carry a gun. Well, it's just like Canada. It's very similar uh, here okay. as it is in Canada. Um, but they use these arguments saying that, and they usually use European countries um, like Switzerland or even Spain or Norway. And they say like, you can't compare America 
with those countries because America is so, you know, they're dealing with, I don't know what the population is there. Uh, know, I think 350 million. I wanted to say that actually. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah. So a quarter of a billion people, Yeah. which is crazy. I agree with that. But what's the population of Europe or Western Europe? I'm curious because the same land mass, because the majority of, I think, and I'm, I'm pretty ignorant uh, when it comes to geography and politics. Uh, I, it's something I want to learn more about. But um, what I would say is that if you have the majority of countries that are doing better in gun control and gun laws in Western Europe, then count all of the countries. Like basically say Western Europe. Don't go country yeah. by country by country by country. Because you're right. You can't compare, um, say, Norway. Oh, look at the last killing that Norway had as opposed to the United States because here we only have, I think there's only like 5 million or 8 million, I think, in all of Norway versus obviously the quarter of a billion people in the U.S. Of course, that's an unfair comparison, but let's, let's branch out. Let's not say Norway. Let's also say let's connect it with Sweden because if you connect those two, they're very similar countries. Yeah. Now you're getting somewhere. Now you can kind of compare apples with apples. If you, do you know what I do? You know what I mean? Do I, make yeah, I know what you're saying. Are you guys like is Norway in the union or not? No, it's not actually in the European uh, Union. They they have like some type of uh, agreement that they're in it, but they're not in it. Okay. You yeah. guys use the euro then or no? No, we use what's called as a Norwegian crown. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is one of those moments where I wish I had one of those little pieces of paper where yeah. I, you know, like, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm watching, I don't know what this, this guy's outside just throwing the basketball backwards. Okay, that's kind of cool. But, like, I don't get it. Like, half court, he's around half court, and he just keeps walking back and then throwing it behind him as if he's trying to get it in without looking, and that's, that's his sole goal right now. Huh. It looks badass when you do it. <laughs> yeah. So in Edmonton, you oh, – I was going to ask a question about that. Um, oh, do you take up any new sports? You ever, did you ski or snowboard or anything like that when you lived in London? Yeah, I snowboarded. Um, when I first moved here, I snowboarded quite a bit. Um, last, last winter, I was just too busy to actually just get out. And do it, um, but yeah, I still do that. Um, you know, especially being newish to the city, don't really know anyone. I signed up for like a ton of sports league. I played dodge because I remember you said you played dodgeball in London. I, I loved it. It's a great yeah. way to meet people too. Yeah, so I did a so just like in London, they had a four city sport and social club. Here, it's called Edmonton Sport and Social Club. Okay, I'm I'm almost certain they're the same company because they got like the same logo, same similar websites. That if it is the same company, it's very successful. They branch yeah. out. They they grew extremely fast. A lot of people, um, I mean, they're successful, so good for them. But I remember a lot of people shitting on them because of the costs that were involved. Yeah. It, it compared to like because I play on two baseball leagues, so I got so I play one with the Edmonton Sports Social Club, and I play another one, which is with my work. I, I don't know what they're called. And uh, yeah, the one with my work is considerably lower. Hmm. It's like I pay like, well, and like for Edmonton, for uh, the Edmonton Social Social Club, it's like a hundred bucks for like six weeks. And then with my work, I pay eighty, and I pretty much play the entire summer. Yeah, maybe it's be the only thing. Like, it must be because maybe your work covers the insurance, or you're covered in that sense. I don't know. know. Because, yeah, but there's, like, other – I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what I thought about, too, but I'm not I'm not sure. I would like to know, right? It would be, I would like to know, too. <laughs> yeah, let's call them up. I would I would definitely like to know that because uh, I, I knew the owner of the – not that – sorry, no, I'm lying to you there. The dodgeball – the original guy that started dodgeball, his name okay. was Mike. Uh, I don't remember his last name. I, was on, I have him on Facebook. Very, very nice guy. Um, and he was saying that there are a lot of costs that are associated with insurances because um, he's basically responsible. And he was also saying, and this is kind of interesting, is that dodgeball 
it's kind of it's, it's not exactly like everybody knows what dodgeball is but there's not a lot of there's not a lot of organized dodgeball or at least way back in the day when we were playing it for like in the his league yeah there 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 wasn't like organizations so that movie didn't help boost the demand well, for dodgeball i maybe it's well i mean it should be it should be cheaper then for insurance maybe because a lot more people are playing they don't need the the cost can be lower maybe yeah. that's I would think that you know what I mean. Bring on more people, more risk. It could be could go the opposite way, exactly. Um, but what he was saying was that it didn't qualify for uh, it qualified, sorry, for insurance as if it was similar to football hmm. because of the type of game, like because it yeah. play with a ball and you throw it at people uh, and you catch it. It just the I don't know. It, maybe it was silly, but I thought it was just interesting that they – that actually, you know what? It's not that interesting. It's just like if I was an insurance agency, how can I charge this person the most money? Oh, that's similar to football. Then it's going to probably cost a lot, right? Yeah, it was uh, – I thought it was – my right, high school, it was always the weirdest thing. We never had like a football team because they said the insurance was too high. But they had rugby, which is like <laughs> more dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's maybe yeah, I would think so. I, I'm sure maybe some would argue that it's not. What do you think? I don't know. I would think that too. I agree with you that I, would I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But they also say with football, I don't know if you ever heard of this. Is that they say football? And I agree with this uh, because I think the same thing for hockey is that because of the equipment, rugby doesn't have as much equipment, right? You're basically just out there with your own body. Yeah, I think right. And that's well, why you like break limbs and people have to like tape their ears and stuff. Yes, but if you're going, to, if you're going to take a run at a guy, you're going to hurt yourself as well, and it's something that you think about how you're going to connect with the person. When you're armored like a football player and a hockey player, and the equipment that they're making nowadays are just getting more advanced, more technical. And more is harder and fucking bigger. So, like you're, um, you, well, you're, you're okay. You're, I agree. But you can see everything, everything's like the cell phone model. They want it smaller and lighter and. I well, stronger. I agree. I I like that. When I play hockey, I have these little little shoulder pads that probably don't do much. But mm -hmm. I've seen some other guys that look like their shoulder pads are almost the same size as their head. And if they take a run at a guy. They feel, I'm sure they feel um, invincible. And yes. that's, I, I don't think that's healthy because if you have a guy that thinks he's invisible taking a run out of the guy, another guy, yeah. you're, you're, it's, you're playing with fire. And that does, I don't think that happens as much as it, in rugby because you, don't, they have, you have to think. If you have, all I'm saying is like I, like I, I think in a way if you, if you lost, if you took the helmets away, from yeah. hockey players, I think it might actually. Re I think I don't know. Again, this is a theory, but uh, or a, an opinion, I guess. I think the the injuries might even go down because I don't think people are going to. Same with shoulder pads, actually, as well. I think shoulder pads they should be doing either get rid of them or look at them and have some some type of a rule where they you can't have these guys go on the ice where they have these shoulder pads out to here feeling invincible yeah. and, and running people in the boards. If you got rid of them all together, I know that there's some hockey players, especially when I was only like 20, when I'm back when I was your age, there are guys that were like way bigger than me and just, I was scared shitless and I had equipment on and they were looking way bigger than I was. And I knew that without the equipment on, they were skinnier than me. Yeah. But you know, hockey, like every, like, you take a slap shot and then you miss and you, you hit a guy like, what do you know, you, I think there's, there's more accident. Like they, they prevent more accidental injury than. Yeah. I, I'd like to, I, I think so too, to a certain extent, like the slap shots and things like that. For that example, I agree with like shin pads, but how often does a, does a slap shot end up? And even you're padding on your chest. Isn't that, it's not that protective. No, but it hits the crossbar like you, you said. Helmets either hits the crossbar, head done. You're dead. Yeah, I still think it happened. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree with you. 
I, I agree. I, I agree with you on that. Just don't know how how often that happens. Often I, I I I don't usually fight guys, but like I've I've had if you know a few pucks hit my helmet my helmet. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, no, too true. Well, we'll make it better at some point. <laughs> we'll figure it. I'll figure it out. There's some smart guy in a lab, and we need yeah statistics and running numbers and I'm sure they already do probably sure. anyways what else can we talk about man it's been a long time no girlfriends no marriages nothing no babies you said no nope. maybe you have some you don't know of right hope not uh i'm seeing a girl out here she's cool yeah what about vacations? I don't want to talk about too much social stuff. I want everybody to know. I don't, all the millions of people that are going to view this, I don't I want to get too... Millions. Yeah. This is going to be bigger than the Gunyam style video. We actually have a, someone viewing right now. Do we really? Yeah. I'm not sure. It is. I, I'm not sure how to, to actually see them. I just put up the Q&A, but it still says disabled. Disabled, yeah. Um... Yeah, uh, get, getting back to relationships. So you, I'm going to guess that you've been in a few since I've seen you. Yep. Nothing long term, but you're seeing someone now. Yep. Or maybe there's some. I mean, we haven't seen each other for a long time, so maybe some of those were somewhat long term. Who knows? I actually yeah. think when I saw you in uh, last time I saw you, actually we went to kind of a rave party. Was it? Wasn't it? Uh, we went to To and saw Eddie Legrand. Yeah, was it just Fetty? Uh, there was like a few opening DJs. I forgot the one guy was really good. I remember tweeting at him asking what song he played because it was like one of the dopest remixes I've ever heard. You liked it? Yeah. Have you been to a lot of those in Edmonton? Um, I'm trying to think. Probably not like, like an EDM show. I haven't been to one in a while, but I've been going to a lot more like real concerts. Like I saw Justin Bieber. I saw the weekends. Um, I uh, saw Blink One Eight Two was in town. Do you go to these concerts for free? Blink One Eight Two was the first one I paid for in a while, just because uh, most of them I see for free because usually our work, you know, gets tickets. But Blink One Eight Two Top Forty Station didn't really get, you know, too many. So we that lost, one. I, we lost your viewer, by the way. We lost it. Lost our I said Justin Bieber, and he's got gone. <laughs> <laughs> probably yeah yeah so yeah I, I see a lot more like like concert concerts if that makes sense and when you go to these concerts for for work do you go back well I, I mean two different things going for work or a part of work or on behalf of your work I suppose do you go backstage uh, I, I get the tickets that listeners don't pick up get the tickets that so listeners they don't win them they'd be like hey you won this contest and sometimes, like, crap, I never got around to picking them up from the radio station. Okay. Are they often backstage? No. 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 Um, okay, I never knew how that works. So is that normal with, DJ, uh, with DJs? With, with like, like, my job? No, in general. I don't know. In your job, are there DJ positions? People are very forgetful. So it's... But is that usually what happens though? Uh, if someone doesn't come pick it up and it's that day of, then you, you get yep. to go? Yep. Yeah, yeah I'm just curious about that. There's one time. Sometimes, sometimes I can like, uh, like in advance, I'd be like, hey, you know, just make, you know, can you guys set aside a pair or something? Like, yeah. Usually, so. What's the, fur what's the furthest you've traveled to go to a concert or an EDM festival? Probably the furthest was when we went to Toronto. Like, I've, well, yeah, it's probably from London to Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've seen a few shows in Toronto. And I saw, oh, yeah, I forgot. I saw you, you had to do, you were doing a live feed in at Coco's. In, oh, yeah, that was when I was DJing in Grand Bend. Yeah. Was that at Coco's? No, it was another bar called Whitecaps. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I remember tuning into that at like yeah. two in the morning or something. I think I was, I was, yeah, because I was trying to, you know, start live streaming. Like, uh, because it was actually Axel who used to work in the warehouse. He said he loved going on these live stream websites and and just listening to 
DJ mixes that people did. And so that was that was something I was trying to get going. Um, something I still want to try to get going. Yeah, you just, you just definitely do. I think it's pretty cool. I, it, I think it, it's not for everyone. Um, and it's not, I, I don't think it's, I mean, for me specifically, I don't tune into them for very long. But I, yeah. I think it's really cool, though, just to kind of get a vibe and be like, hey, I know that person. Look what he's doing. Or if, yeah, even when I don't know them, and if, even because I've tuned into like live Avicii ones and other yeah. like, big name Skrillex or. Like every time they stream, like every time Ultra, they stream that online. And yeah. it's awesome that they do it because they'd have like the Twitch app on the Xbox. So I could actually just put it on and like have it playing through the house stereo and. Yeah. And, be cooking eggs or something yeah mm. exactly yeah i think that's pretty cool that, and, yeah. but how long do you, would you say you listen to it uh see i didn't watch it when is ultra it's that's usually so i didn't watch the 2016 one i watched the 2015 one mm. i don't know uh i know ultras, ultras i think it's in may when, it's always during ratings for us so i can never watch all I'm sorry. Would you actually watch all of it, like live stream? Would you watch it? A good chunk of it. I watched a good chunk of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just had it. I just had it on during the day. Yeah. See, to to each their own. I I think I I think I I would turn it off, maybe ten minutes. Depends on what they're showing. Like sometimes they play hot chicks on there. It's like oh, that's all they do is, and you know what they're doing. They just go into some girl with a beach ball playing with a bikini with another girl with a bikini thing, and you don't see the DJ and you just see that really. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, it's more background music than anything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, well, that's one thing I, I do actually remember about you. Uh, like a solid memory about you is that cause we, we were doing some other, uh, some mixtures at that, at that little festival that we had went to in Toronto. I, I forget yeah. who else came with us. It was like your, we picked up someone on the way, I think in like Oakville, one of your friends. Hmm. Did oh, Eric come? Eric. Too? No. Eric at your house? No? No, no. No, he didn't come. So I think it was just me, you, and then I forgot there was those three girls you hang out you hung out with. It's like Okay, I remember yeah. Uh Sam, Jesse. Yep, those yep. One other. Um but yeah, I remember when you were there and you were, I, you could just tell you were just into it. You're just like, like, like I was it. Like I, my my enjoyment going to those things is like I just basically get into a spot and I just usually just fist pound and you don't have to worry about me going anywhere. Sometimes I talk or whatever, but you were more like in. It was almost like a almost looked like it was a learning experience for you to to watch the DJ. I don't know if that's. If that's no, I just, I just like hearing what they do, like because I, I do it on the side, and I just it's 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 I don't know it's another art form. Yeah, you know? like it's like some people go to bands just to hear like the guitar riff. It's like I, I just I see, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like hearing where they mix and 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 especially when they create a lot of beats too. Like especially it's what I love about house music is like every time you listen to it, I hear another element. Yeah, you know, they, see, you're much more intelligent when it comes to that kind of stuff. I don't hear any of that stuff. Kind of, for example, like uh, headphones. I'm sure you probably like a nice pair of headphones because you can hear yep. the differences between the tones. I can't. I, I might as well have the cheapest set. Um, oh, I was go oh yeah. So, can you do you often go to, not often, but do you often spot when DJs aren't actually doing anything, like the play button, for example, or they have headphones on but it's not plugged in can you tell just by looking it depends because usually it's perfect like if i hear an imperfection it's like okay they're live oh okay but right 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 it's, it's it's like anything like you like you hear someone like right now hey i'm stuttering a bit this is because this is live you didn't yeah. go through this and edit it and take out all the stutters and everything i see what you mean yeah so like usually uh, you could hear oh this this guy's off just a little bit because you know he's a he's a human it's the human element. From listening. I'm sorry, I think I lost you. From can you hear me now? Yeah, there we go. From yeah, from just from like listening to them, you can see that, or you can yeah. hear that. Huh. I don't know if I'd be able to hear if they messed up or not. 
I, w- I went to the Phantom of the Opera a long time ago, back in Toronto. Three times I went. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, and I could see the mistakes. I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, fun fact, by the way. Do you, do you remember the show to- uh, Today's Special? No. Uh, for your time. The mannequin, there's a mannequin in it where, anyways, this guy in Today's Special. If You should look it up because it's a classic. Okay. Well, uh, today's special, and you'll see this mannequin. He turns into a real person. It's a kid show. Okay. And his I think his real name is Jeff, but that guy on Today's Special was I think on one of the first main stars as the Phantom of the Opera. Cool. He played as Phantom of the Opera. I think I'm pretty sure his name is Jeff, but I I didn't know that until like this year, and I I was like, whoa, it's like a mind blowing experience for me because I love Today's Special. And I loved going to Phantom of the Opera a few times and seeing like airs and shit like that. And yeah. I and he was like, "Oh, he, you know, the CD of Phantom of the Opera." I, I'm pretty sure it's him that's on the CD. Oh, really? Oh. If you look up like a fan, yeah. I don't know if you listen to that. You know, but I find that I find that in radio, like especially I remember like as a kid watching like YTV and there's like Tarzan Dan. Yes. I guess Tarzan Dan does a morning show in Calgary now. Oh, really? Yeah. And like, there's a guy that like. He, like Fred, he does like a like a teletune at nights here. Fred, Fred. yeah, he used to do, he was, used to work at uh the same like uh at, at another radio station here at Edmonton. I actually worked like he was uh the because it was called the Bear here at Edmonton. Okay, and okay. and the Bear and Virgin like they were sister stations, so they're in the same building. He's like, oh, so Fred used to work in this building. That's funny. Yeah. So do you have any upcoming gigs? Um, I got a wedding in two weeks. I'm DJing. Um, I did a I did a bar called the Bourbon Room mm-hmm. uh, on Friday, and looks like I'm going to do a few more gigs with them in the month of August. We got a deal. A lot work. We're working out a deal where I'll be DJing for the month or trying a new thing. So, is that just you, or is that like is that connected with the the was it Hot 107 or I always want to say 102.7 because that's from Sarnia. Like, yeah, you know, it's hot. It's hot 107. Hot 107. Hot 107.1 if you want to get technical. And you're, we were talking about this before. You don't have a radio voice. You just talk like this. This is your like natural, like, like natural beauty. Yeah. I don't know. You don't want to, you just, people want to hear, like, I think that's a, it's a thing nowadays. Just people want to hear people. They don't want to hear, it's like, hey, you're listening to the new one from Taylor Swift. Oh, Come on. Hot oh, 107. Good. They yeah, don't. no shit. I, I, I agree with you on that. I unfortunately, I, in my job as sales, I have a phone voice when I when I call. I know I do. Like nice. I'm, I'm, it's so fake in a, in a way. That's why I'm trying to do this and have more conversations that are actually the real me. It's more fun and enlightening. I think and I, I'll be able to watch this and like look back and like, oh, what, what are you saying? Man? You're an idiot. Like, what, 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 why, why do I even ask that? You know what I mean? It'd be interesting. Yeah. But uh, so you have? Do you have Twitter? I do have Twitter. What's that? At DJ Kevin Hayes. DJ Kevin Hayes. Also Instagram. Everything. Everything. I try to keep the same. DJ Kevin Hayes. At DJ Kevin Hayes. Yeah. No. No nickname. Let me no nickname. No nickname. Like DJ. That's your name, DJ Kevin Hayes. Yeah. Like nothing. Uh... I actually wanted to get rid of the DJ part because David Guetta doesn't use DJ. Calvin Harris doesn't use DJ. True. Why I want to get rid of that, but someone already took took just regular Kevin Hayes. So. Oh, you wanted to get rid of it? Yeah. I didn't pick that up. You wanted to get rid of it, but someone already has Kevin Hayes. Yeah. Son of a bitch. And I guess there's a like a hockey player who were, who plays for the New York Rangers named Kevin Hayes. So who so, has who has the Twitters? Is it that guy? I don't think he has it either. It's just some random Kevin Hayes. I think someone took it. Like they literally made the account and has done nothing with it because I looked it up. Mm. But uh, yeah, it was kind of funny because there's another. There's a. You know what you should uh, do? The real Kevin Hayes. Yeah. I don't know consistency because that means I got to change my Instagram. Of course. No, I'm just kidding with you. All right, man. I'm gonna cut this off because I think I just saw my fiance come around the block. All right, and uh, she's gonna be uh, she's gonna be wondering why am I even still awake? But I'm glad we did this. I'm glad you took the time. Uh, do All post right. it to your group, uh, DJ Kevin Hayes.
And yeah. I post it to my huge number of 30. You post it, like it, share it, comment, and uh, maybe we'll do this again sometime. All right, sounds good. Cool, buddy. Peace. Later.